A 105 mile per hour foul ball from Todd Frazier hit a two year old girl in the stands in a game between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins at Yankee Stadium. The two year old is doing okay, but Mike, I ask you, is it time for Major League Baseball to have safety nets at all of its stadiums? I think so, definitely. I mean, this is something that you don't want to get another incident like this, and this was something that was very scary. Fortunately, you know, as you pointed out, it seems like the little girl's doing fine. Todd Frazier, of course, is actually been in contact with the family he was really worked up about it and a lot of the players were as well I think one of the reasons why the MLB is going to push forward with this is they have the support of their players I've seen a lot of the comments from some major league baseball players saying hey when I have my families and I bring them to the game for batting practice or whatever I make sure they're in no way near nowhere near the field where they're going to take a chance where they could wind up getting hit look here at New York you know in City Field they've really been sort of on the ball with this they've put a little bit more netting as opposed to some of these other stadiums. Will there be some opposition to this from some of the old school fans that want to really have a good feel for the game? Possibly, but you know what? Maybe they're just going to have to move back because from my standpoint, you don't want to take another risk where you're going to get something like this. And Keisha, absolutely, the answer to the question for me is yes. You want these fans who are going to these games to be as safe as possible. Yes, this is a simple, cost-effective way to ensure the safety of your patrons. And I wouldn't you rather, if you're Major League Baseball, have a safety net that maybe obstructs a view, but I think there might be some that are thin enough where the obstruction is very minimal. And, you know, spend a little bit of money instead of, you know, a lawsuit, because God forbid something happened to this girl that, or a death and somebody chooses to sue Major League Baseball when it could have been prevented. And, you know, I think it's a lot of baseball to ask its fans to really have their heads on swivels and pay attention for the length of a baseball game. It's very long and obviously you can't expect a toddler or an infant to be looking around but then even for an adult we are definitely in a time where we are easily distracted. There's cell phones and on the cell phones you're checking there's fantasy baseball, you're checking scores, you're on the Snapchat, you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook saying that you're at the game. And, you know, then boom. You yell ball. at the hot dog yeah, guy. Yeah, you yell at the hot dog guy. Then, of course, at any stadium, there's beer. There's alcohol. And you know what happens when you to your motor skills after you start consuming a decent amount of alcohol. They slow down. And you're not going to be in, able to really pay attention and get your hands up or, you know, in, in enough time. So, Major League Baseball, just shell out a little bit of money and save yourself some heartache.